video number five, um, book on leading worship. Uh, some of you may know, some of you may not know. Uh, I've been working on a book um, on how to lead worship for a number of years now, um, and, and finally everything's kind of coming together. Uh, it'll be called How to Lead Worship. Um, I will be finished with the third and final draft in January, in which case it will go to the um, my editor, um, editors I should say, um, and then once that is finished, uh, we'll get the final final touch on it, send it into the publishers. It should be completely finished by summer or fall of next year. Um, it's pretty exciting because it's a project that I've been working on for a very long time, uh, putting a lot of hours into. Um, and sometimes when work's real, real crazy, I have to just do it on the side. But um, just the fact that I'm finally getting it done is pretty exciting. Um, thought I'd give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a, uh, a uh, update on it. Um, it'll have somewhere around. Um, between 10 and 15 chapters, and those chapters will consist of topics such as um, attitudes, lifestyle, uh, theology, basics of worship, the worship team, uh, worship leader, uh, before, during, and after, um, conflicts, conflict resolution, um, and uh, stage presentation, um, just other things like that. So as you can tell, it's really going for a wide variety um, of things. Uh, the chapter will have this kind of a setup. It'll have, um, let me see if I can pull it up here. It'll have, um, so it'll have the chapter name, uh, yeah, uh, number on the top. Um, so uh, if you're looking at me, it'll be over here. Uh, it'll have the chapter name and chapter number then uh, the, the chapter name, uh, and then it'll have a verse. It has something to do with that. Um, and then it'll have uh, kind of like an introduction to the chapter, uh, and then it'll have its content categorized by, um, by headings. So like it'll have a heading, like for instance, um, when on stage, do this, you know what I'm saying, as the heading, and then it'll have uh, content under that, under that, which will lead into another heading drop content under that, and I'll have that kind of set up the whole way through. Um, uh, then at the end, it'll have uh, either frequently asked questions uh, or tips or both. Um, and then after that, it'll have um, a summary of the chapter. So in case you just want to br breeze through the summary, or in case when you're finished reading, you want to make sure that you got everything, uh, you just read that. It'll work as a recap, work as a conclusion, as a summary. Um, uh, and then after that, it'll have suggested readings that have suggested readings that have to do with whatever the subject of the uh, chapter was. Um, yeah, and like I said, it'll be somewhere between 10 and 15 chapters. Um, it's going to be pretty long. The outline itself uh, is in the 20 pages or so, um, somewhere around 20 or 30 pages. I, I don't really remember, but so you can imagine that you know. Once I get that really written down, expanded on by the th finish of the third draft, it should be a pretty lengthy book. Um, I'll, whenever it goes on for sale at Amazon and such places, I'll try to put it at a cheaper price because I know that people in ministry um, tend to not have a whole lot of money, and so I want to make a, a valuable resources resource for you at a cheap price. Um, uh, obviously, I have to have to make profit off of it, you know, but um, I will try to keep keep a really low price on it. Um, I'm tr some people ask, I kind of ask, well, why don't you have it just on tips to, on tips as far as the actual worship leading process, like on the stage? And my answer to that is a few things. Number one, I want to give you guys the best, um, best bang for your buck. I want you guys to have an all-inclusive resource. Second, you cannot separate 
um, personal and public life when you're a worship leader. That's why I talk about stuff like attitudes and lifestyle and stuff like that in the book. Because if you are able to successfully um, uh, um, tweak those areas of your life, it will filter into and it will have an effect on your worship leading life. Um, worship leading is not just about standing just right. Y you know, there's a, there's a lot of different elements to it, um, and I try to explore most of the most of those elements in this book. Um, it really wouldn't have been productive. It would have been counterproductive, and it would have been kind of a rip off to you, the reader, um, if I had just just said the bare minimum of while you're on stage. You know, because then you would come against all these different problems and you'd think, well, how do I solve this problem? And the whole reason why I'm doing this book is so that you don't have the problems, so you can find a way to get past the problems, so you can be a better worship leader, so you can uh, uh, do your ministry uh, to the full extent, as good and strong as you can, uh, without getting bogged down or, or stressed out or worried. Um, so uh, I really hope that you guys enjoy the book when it comes out. I'll try to keep you posted if anything else comes up. Um, like I said, uh, uh, I'm really excited for this one. It's, it's a project I've been working on for a very long time. Um, I'll, I'll let you guys know when it's up for sale, and I'll give you a link for Amazon and whatnot uh, when it is for sale. Like I said, that should be by next summer or fall, and that's uh, summer or fall of 2013. Um, so we got about a year left. Um, but considering how many years I put into it, that's really not that big of a deal for me. Uh, thank you guys for the support and for watching this. Um, God bless. If you have any questions about about the book, please let me know. Uh, anything that you want me to, to be sure and include in the book, please be sure and let me know. Uh, other than that, uh, I think that's it. God bless you guys.